Hey guys, so today is going to be part two in my makeup declutter series. I'm going to be focusing on bronzers, setting powders, blushes, and highlighters, which I know is a lot of makeup to tackle in one video, but I am ready to get this done. I'm excited for part two. I hope you guys are as well, and let's get into it. So this is where I keep most of my powder bronzers and setting powders. I do have quite a few other ones in my everyday makeup drawer slash filming desk. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to separate the bronzers and setting powders right now and just focus on one category at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I went ahead and took out all of the setting powders and I put them into this container but I put all of my other bronzers that I had in my everyday makeup drawer in here just so I can tackle it all at once so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that so first up this wet n wild mega glow contouring palette this is super super old and I can already tell that it might be expired I've never been a fan of this one I don't like the way that these blend especially the bronzer slash contour shade so I'm gonna declutter this this one I also don't like this is the physician's formula bread and butter bronzer and this one is in the shade toasty this formula is nothing like the original butter bronzer which I do really like it's super dusty and patchy on the skin so I'm going to declutter this one, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I haven't used this in such a long time, but it's been a favorite of mine for years now. So I'm definitely keeping this one, the Glowish by Huda Beauty Soft Radiance Bronzer. I know a lot of people like this one, but it just hasn't worked for me. It's just a little too sheer. I really have to dig my brush in there to get any product. It just barely shows up on my skin. So I think it's time to let go of this one. And this one is in the shade 02 Medium, by the way. The M Cosmetics Corselet Bronzer. This one I have in the shade Silhouette. I have tested it a few times, but I think lately I just prefer cream bronzers. And if I want to apply a powder bronzer over top, it's usually glowy. So I think for that reason, I haven't been reaching for this one, but it's not a bad bronzer. I think I just have to give it a chance so I'm gonna keep this and keep testing it. I really like this Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo. This is in the shade Light. This formula is really nice. I love how easily these blend out so I'm gonna keep this one. The Belgian Waffle Palette from BH Cosmetics. I am gonna keep this one. I don't even think they make this anymore but I'm still gonna be using it every once in a while. The Physicians Formula Matte Manoy Butter Bronzer. I'm gonna declutter this one because I've never liked it. It's way too orange and I really don't like the scent. It's also, of course, very matte, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one I'm also getting rid of. This is the Makeup Revolution Glow Matte Bronzer, I believe. It has kind of a strange name. Okay, it's the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer, and this is in the shade Light. I've never understood the name of this because it claims to be an ultra matte bronzer, but it's called the Revolution Glow. So I'm kind of confused as to what they mean, but this shade has always been really dark on me and I just don't like the formula. So I'm gonna declutter this one. The Ofra Hot Cocoa Bronzer and Highlighter Duo Compact. This is such a good glowy bronzer and the highlighter is super pretty as well. I love the formula of both the highlighter and bronzer. So I'm gonna keep this. Another Physicians Formula bronzer that I don't like. This is the Butter Coffee Bronzer in the shade Latte. Just like the Bread and Butter one, this one has so much kick up that it's honestly just annoying. Um, I don't mind a little bit of kick up, but this is way too much. It has such a nice coffee scent, but I don't like the formula. I don't like the way that this looks on my skin, so I'm gonna have to declutter this. The House Labs Power Sculpt Velvet Bronzer. This one I have in the shade Light Level 4. I was so excited to try this because I've heard so many good things about it, but this one didn't work for me. I tried it quite a few times and I just didn't like it. It's really patchy and I had a hard time getting any pigment from this. This packaging is just so stunning. But yeah, this one just didn't work for me, so I'm gonna pass it along. Okay, this Physicians Formula Ultimate Murumuru Butter Collection. This one has eyeshadows, bronzers, blushes, highlighters, and lip products. I did post a review slash try on a few years ago. It was one of the first reviews that I posted, and I was just so 
excited to try this at the time. This is such a bulky base palette, but for some reason I just want to keep it forever. This is very nostalgic to me and it's not a bad product. I actually do enjoy it. Some of the shadows are very hit or miss, but in general, I think this is a really good all-in-one base palette. I honestly haven't used this in over a year, but this is very nostalgic to me, so I am going to keep it. The Nabla Skin Bronzing Powder, this one is in the shade Ombra, which is a little light for me, but I can make it work, especially in the fall and winter. So I'm going to keep this. I really like this formula. It's super smooth, um, not very pigmented, but it blends really nicely, so I'm going to keep it. I'm also going to keep this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, so I do like applying this over top of cream bronzers, so I'm going to keep this as well. This is a brand new Becca Gradient Sunlit Bronzer, which I have as backup for my older one. This is just like the perfect glowy bronzer for me. I wish they would still make this, but luckily I have this backup, so I'm definitely keeping this. The Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 200. This is one of my favorite drugstore powder bronzers. I love this shade in particular because it's really nice and neutral, super easy to blend, and I actually think I'm close to hitting pan now that I'm looking at it which is very exciting, um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. This is a newer powder bronzer to me, but I've been really liking it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer in the shade 300 Light Medium. I've tried this one a few times now, and so far I really like it, so I am going to keep it. The e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. This is another favorite drugstore bronzer that I feel like I'm close to hitting pan on as well. This was one of my most reached for powder bronzers in 2022. I love how easy it is to blend and it lasts such a long time on my skin. So this is another favorite of mine that I'm keeping. And here is my older Becca Sunrise Waves bronzer. Technically, I already hit pan on this in 2021. So I decided to crush it all up, mix it with alcohol, and it created this super pretty glowy bronzer shade. I use this one all the time, so I'm definitely keeping this. So these are pretty much the only cream and liquid bronzers that I have in my collection. I actually like all of these, so I'm only getting rid of what's expired. And right away, the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. I've had this one for several years and the formula doesn't perform as well anymore. I do have quite a bit of product left, so I do feel bad about that, but yeah, this is definitely expired. Um, it's looking a little funky, so I'm gonna have to toss this out. This one I'm also getting rid of because it's expired. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade 03 Macchiato. It has some weird like fuzzy texture on it that wasn't there before. I made the mistake of using a damp beauty sponge quite a few times when I used this, and I think that's maybe why it expired quicker, but I did use it today one last time just to see if it performed the same and it's just not as good as it used to be. So I am getting rid of this one. I'm going to keep the rest of these cream bronzers because none of them are expired and I love all of them. Um, but this one is the Patrick Ta Cream and Powder Bronzer Duo. This is in the shade she sculpted. I mainly use the cream contour and then sometimes I use a matte bronzer. The Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Bronzer in the shade Bondi Bay. This is another favorite of mine. The NARS Bronzing Cream in the shade Laguna 2. This is newer to me, but I just can't stop reaching for this. It's just the perfect bronzer shade and I love the way that this blends. The Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpting Shaping Stick. This one is in the shade Light Medium. I love this one as well. And then finally the Milani Conceal and Perfect Liquid Bronzer in the shade O2 Ginger. Pretty pigmented, so I do have to be careful with it, but I've been really enjoying this. Okay, moving on to setting powders. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. This is a favorite of mine from the drugstore and just in general, so I'm definitely keeping this one. And then same thing with the Peanuts and Wet n Wild Translucent Setting Powder. Sadly, this was limited edition, so I haven't seen it online anymore, but somehow I like this one even more than the original. I don't know why, but this one is just a little bit better, and I can't really explain why. I feel like it might be a little bit more natural on the skin, but... Yeah, this does a really good job at setting my makeup. So I am keeping both of these. I'm also keeping this Rare Beauty setting powder in the shade Light. 
This one has a bit of a pinky undertone to it, so I mainly use this one for my under eyes and the center of my face. So I'm keeping this one. The L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Translucent Light Medium. I'm gonna declutter this one, even though I did decide to keep it during my Makeup on the Chopping Block video that I posted a few months ago. But I started noticing that it makes my foundation look lighter whenever I apply it all over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it. The Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, I'm gonna keep this one. I still have quite a bit of product left, even though I've been using it consistently over the past year. I think I just don't use that much product whenever I use it. So I'm gonna keep this one. It's been a favorite of mine for years now. This is another favorite that I'm keeping, the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Oat Translucent. I haven't been using this one as much as I used to, but it's still a favorite. And I think I'm just gonna try to focus on using it more often. So these Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powders, I think I'm gonna declutter. I think I just prefer actual setting powders. These are finishing powders, so that might be why I don't really like them. But yeah, I don't know. I've just never been impressed with them. But I have the shades 15 Light and 20 Light Medium. I'm gonna pass both of these along. I'm also going to pass along this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. This one is just too light for me. I did try it once and it made my face look super light so it's not that I don't like the formula because I remember liking it but the shade is just too light. I have such a small amount of this left. This is the number seven Perfect Light Setting Powder and I am super close to using this up. I did use it today and yeah, I have such a tiny amount left, but I think I'm gonna use this up within the next couple of times that I use it. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna try to use it up by the end of the year. It used to be one of my favorite setting powders, but I do have other ones that I prefer over this. So not a favorite anymore, but I'm gonna use up the whole thing. This is a newer favorite, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. It's a little more matte than what I'm used to, but I love the way that this sets my makeup. It makes my makeup last all day long, so I'm definitely keeping this one. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder. This is in the shade 04 Natural. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this because I don't like it anymore. I am pretty close to hitting pan on it, but I just don't see the point in keeping this. I'm gonna keep this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Pressed Face Powder. This is in the shade Light 8. I like this one for quick makeup days, so I'm gonna keep this one. I do have two shades in the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have the shade Medium, which is this one up here, and Light. I like the shade Light for my under eyes and the center of my face. I've only tried the shade Medium, I think, twice. So I'm gonna try to get more use out of this. This is a really pretty setting powder. I like that it has a little bit of a glow to it, but it does do a good job at setting your makeup. So I'm gonna keep both. This one I am gonna pass along, however. This is the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. This is just a mini, but I did try it a few times and I don't like how heavy it is. It did make my under eyes look a little bit too dry, so I'm gonna pass this along. I'm also gonna pass along the Dermablend Illuminating Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Banana. I don't remember trying this one. I'm pretty sure it's brand new. Um, Yeah, I don't think I've used it, even though I did take off the sticker on the top. When it comes to banana powders, I do prefer pressed ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. And then finally, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is in the shade Medium. This is such a tiny sample that I feel like it's just hard to get my brush in there, but just the formula I haven't been impressed with. I feel like I need to try it a few more times and see how I feel about it, but so far I just, I don't get the hype. I'm gonna give it a chance, see how I feel about it. So I'm gonna keep this. Okay, that is everything from my bronzer and setting powder drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back that I'm keeping. I think this looks a lot better. I like the way that everything fits and it's just a lot easier to see everything that I have. And then this is what I'm transferring into my everyday makeup drawer. I'm gonna try to rotate through my products more often so I can get more use out of everything in my collection. But yeah, this is what I'm working with now. Let's move on to blushes and highlighters. Because I do have both 
blushes and highlighters in here. I think I am gonna take out the highlighters and work on the blushes first. First up, the NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette. These are very sheer blushes, so even though they do look really intense, they don't go on the cheeks the same way that they look in the pan. But even then, I am gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep trying it because it does work for me overall. I just am not a big fan of this blush formula, so I'm gonna keep this for now. The Smashbox Cali Contour Face Palette. This one has blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. So I've only tried this a couple of times so far. I did get it towards the end of 2022. I have to keep playing around with this one and see how I really feel about it, but I'm gonna keep it. I haven't used this one in such a long time. This is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 2 Palette. I feel like the shimmery shades are more like blush toppers, but I'm gonna keep this. I wanna get some more use out of it because I really do like this blush formula, at least from what I remember. It has been a while since I've played with this but I'm gonna keep it and try to use it more. These two I'm definitely keeping. These are the Catrice Times Iman blush and highlighter palettes. I remember loving these highlighters. They are very intense, but really pretty on the skin, so I'm gonna keep this. And then same with the blush palette. I love this one in particular down here. This is a really pretty like brownie, warm blush shade. I don't even know how to describe it. I love the orange one as well, which is called Luxor. These were limited edition, so they don't make them anymore, but especially because of that, I want to keep them even though they are a little bit old. This one, however, I'm not sure I'm going to keep. This is the Becca Jaclyn Hill base palette. Look at how old this is. It actually turned yellow. This used to be more of like a white shade or maybe like an off-white but now it looks pretty much yellow. I almost hit pan on champagne pop so I kind of want to keep it and see if I can hit pan eventually. Yeah I don't think I can get rid of this. <laughs> this and some of the other face palettes are very nostalgic for me so yeah I am going to keep this. And then another one that I am keeping this is the BH Cosmetics Bellini blush palette. I feel like I'm going to get some use out of this in the spring and summer but I do like to mix and match different shades in here and especially that shade Just Peachy. That one I love on its own, so I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> okay, I did find a face palette that I am decluttering. This is the Peanuts and Wet n Wild, the Gift of Giving face quad or face palette. Even though I do like the blush up here, as a whole, this palette was pretty disappointing, especially the highlighters. They're just straight up glitter. And this blush down here, even though I love that candy cane imprint, um, that's just not the kind of shade that I reach for, so I'm gonna declutter this. I am gonna declutter this Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell blush duo. There's nothing really wrong with this blush formula, but I just didn't love the way that these blushes looked on my cheeks. I have other ones that I like more, so I'm gonna declutter this. And then same with this ColourPop cheek palette. The blushes were fine, but I really didn't like the highlighter. It looks super gold on my cheeks, so I'm gonna declutter this. The Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This one is in the shade Warm Honey. I love this blush duo, I just haven't used it in a while. But you do get a matte shade and a shimmery like blush topper. So I love this one, I'm gonna keep it. I'm also keeping this ColourPop Hello Kitty blush. This is in the shade Bundled Up and I just can't get rid of this. I just love anything Hello Kitty, but this blush is actually really pretty on the cheeks. It's very shimmery, but I actually don't mind it. This was limited edition, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This one, I'm kind of torn though. This is the ColourPop Lizzie McGuire blush, and this is in the shade You Are Magnifico. This is also very shimmery, maybe more shimmery than the Hello Kitty one. I have used it a few times, but this is not the kind of shade that I normally reach for. It's a little too intense for me, so I am gonna declutter this one. So this one is actually a highlighter or like a body highlighter. This is the ColourPop Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder in the shade Pretty Peachy. I don't like this packaging, first of all. It's really hard for me to open and I don't like the shade either. It's like a gold shifting pink. I can't really use this as either a highlighter or a blush or blush topper, so 
yeah, I just don't see the point in keeping this. I do have another blush palette. This is from e.l.f. I took out one of the shades in here, but I think it broke. So I only have three shades left in here, but I'm going to declutter this. This is really old. And on top of that, I just don't love these kinds of shades. So it's going to go. The Physicians Formula Strawberry Jam Blush. The shade is just like okay for me. Again, this is the kind of Physicians Formula formula that is super dusty and it has so much kick up. So I really didn't enjoy this blush. So I'm going to declutter it. And this is actually a highlighter, but this is the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Amnesia. I love this one. I do use it pretty regularly, especially for a powder highlighter, which I don't use that often nowadays. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep both of these M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blushes. This one is in the shade Faded Clementine. I love this formula as more of like a cheek topper. So I like applying these over top of cream or liquid blushes. And then this one's in the shade Baroque. I do have to build this one up a little bit more than Faded Clementine. It's not as pigmented, but I love the finish of this blush. So I'm going to keep it as well. I have three of these ColourPop heart-shaped blushes. I thought I was going to love these, but they ended up being just okay. But this one is in the shade Kiss and Tell, and it's a really pretty shade. I just don't really use it, but I don't want to get rid of it either. I'm kind of torn right now, to be honest. This one actually doesn't fully close. It stays a little bit open, so that's not a bad thing when it comes to these blushes since they are so hard for me to open. And then this one is in the shade Flirt Alert. This one also doesn't really close anymore. At first they were like impossible to open and now they don't fully close. So I don't know what's up with that. And then this one is in the shade Forever Yours. I do remember now that I literally couldn't open this one and that's why I had it in the box. Somehow I was finally able to open it, but it's a really pretty shade, very bright. Um, it's like a deeper coral shade. So I'm actually gonna pass this one along, but I think I am gonna keep these two shades, especially since they're easier for me to open now. They're really cute blushes and I do love the shades in here, so I'm gonna keep both. The Flower Beauty Flower Pots Powder Blush. This one's in the shade Sweet Pea. This is a really pretty like mauve pinky shade. It does lean a little bit purple on me, but I kind of like that about it, but I'm gonna keep this one. I just haven't used it in a really long time. I'm gonna keep all three of these Persona Super Blushes. I love the finish because they're not fully matte, but they're also not glowy. I think these are technically like a satin matte finish, so they do tend to last a long time on me, but I have the shades Terracotta, Carmel, and Georgia. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Rose Champagne Blush. I used to use this one all the time years ago. It's a like neutral pinky shade. So it goes with a ton of different looks. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm also gonna keep this Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in the shade Seychelles. This is one of my all-time favorite powder blushes. I love the bronzy like undertone that it has and I love the finish as well. It's really glowy. So I'm gonna keep this. I don't know what's going on with Marc Jacobs Beauty, but this blush is so good. This is the air blush in the shade Flesh and Fantasy. I love the finish of this and the shade goes with almost any look that I do. Hopefully Marc Jacobs Beauty does make a comeback because I would love to try some of their other products. This is one of the few products that I did get to try, but I'm definitely keeping this. I'm also keeping this Gucci blush in the shade Rosy Beige. I picked this up recently and I have been loving it. It does lean a little bit more cool tone than I was expecting, but it looks really pretty and it does last a long time on me. There are definitely drugstore options that are just as good, if not better than this, but yeah, I do really like this blush and I don't have any regrets, so I am keeping it. The Lorac Buildable Blush in the shade Cinematic. This has a matte finish and I love this shade in particular because it is like my perfect rosy brown blush shade. Yeah, it's just been a long time favorite, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep both of these MAC Glow Play blushes. These are more on the natural side, but I actually like that about them, especially for more 
natural days or like for work so I'm gonna keep both of them but I have the shades so natural which is a lighter peachy nude shade and blush please this one leans a little bit more pinky the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour blushes these are some of my favorite blushes of all time but unfortunately they don't make these anymore I really wish Urban Decay would bring these back because I want to try some of the other shades but this one I think is my favorite. This is in the shade Kinky and it's a really unique like peachy nude shade. It does have some shimmer to it, but this is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this one and this one is definitely more on the purple side, but I kind of like that about it. I don't have any other blushes quite like this. So I think I might keep this just to use with like purple and pink eyeshadow looks. I have two of these Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. I think I'm only gonna keep this one, which is called Mellow Wine. I like this shade because it doesn't have a ton of shimmer in it, but this one in the shade Nudist Society was really disappointing. I don't like the shimmer in this. It just looks awful on my skin, so I'm gonna declutter this one and keep Mellow Wine. The Coca-Cola Cherry Coke Blush. This one is just not flattering on me and actually it completely came off of the pan. So I'm definitely decluttering this. This shade just didn't look good on me. And as you can see, the formula is really like soft. So it did completely come off of the pan. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. So I thought both of these were blushes, but one of these is actually the Laguna bronzer. I'm gonna keep this one even though I didn't love it the last time that I used it I want to give it another try especially because I've been loving the cream version of this So I'm gonna keep it try to get some use out of it. And then this one is a blush This is in the shade Golu or Golue. I don't know how you pronounce that but I think I got this for free from Sephora years and years ago, so I'm actually gonna declutter this. I've never loved this shade on me, so yeah, I don't see the point in keeping it. And I actually have another Urban Decay Afterglow blush. I don't know how I missed this, but this one is actually my number one favorite shade from this collection. This is in the shade Video. I love the shade Kinky as well, but this one I've used way more than that one. Um, but this is like the perfect neutral blush shade that I could ask for. Again, it's so sad that they don't make these anymore, but I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna declutter these Essence Satin Touch blushes. It's not that I don't like them because I did used to really enjoy these, but I do prefer their newer formula. I have the shades Satin Coral and Satin Love, so I'm gonna declutter these. These two, however, I am keeping. These are the newer Essence blush formula and they're called the blush. I would say the shade Bespoke is my number one favorite out of the two. And then this one is in the shade Befitting. This is a pinky mauve shade. The cap did break off, but I'm still gonna keep it. This one looks almost new because I haven't used it very much. This is the Bare Minerals Blonzer in the shade Kiss of Copper. I'm gonna try to get more use out of this because I really do love this shade. It's really flattering on me, so I'm gonna keep it. The Odin's Eye Alva Flower Blusher in the shade Little Jasmine. This is such a good blush formula. I definitely wanna try some other shades in the future but I'm gonna keep this. The Milani Flower Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. This one, I'm actually gonna declutter. I remember the last time I used it, I didn't love the way that it looked on me. It just looked a little patchy and the blush actually came off of the compact. So I'm gonna declutter this. I'm definitely keeping this one. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush from the Sailor Moon collection. And this is in the shade Cat's Eye. I keep it in the box just because I love the artwork on there so much. And the actual packaging is so cute as well. It has that like holographic effect to it. But I'm keeping this even though it's not the kind of blush that I reach for often. It's really bright and intense, but I just can't get rid of this because it's adorable. Of course, I'm keeping my Pat McGrath Labs blush in the shade Desert Orchid. This has been one of my most used blushes Ever. I really love this satin finish and the shade, of course. It's like a light peachy nude shade. I love applying this over top of cream and liquid blushes. I'm gonna get rid of these Wet n Wild Pac Man blush and bronzer pearls. So, this one is actually the Power Pellets bronzer. It's super shimmery, which I did enjoy 
the first few times that I tried it, but I haven't reached for this in literally years. So I think it's time to get rid of it. And then same thing with the Power Pellets Blush Lighter. Again, I just don't reach for these, so I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. And then finally, the last blush is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in the shade Voile. Voile, I think that's how you pronounce it. I do really like it. I just don't use it often. Um, and I don't think it's dried out, but it's a really pretty copper blush shade. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's still really, really like buttery in the pan. I'm actually surprised that this hasn't dried out. I'm gonna quickly show you most of my cream and liquid blushes. And then I also have one of my liquid highlighters in here, but I'm only gonna get rid of this one from Drunk Elephant. This is the Oblus Rosy Drops. I just don't like this formula and I never use it. I'm pretty sure it's also expired. This is just a mini that I got a while back. So I'm gonna declutter this one, but everything else in here I am keeping. I have my Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Cream Blushes, the Nudies Glow Highlighter in the shade Bubbly Bebe. I love this one. My Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes, which are all minis. Two of these LYS Cream Blushes. This Persona Stick Blush in the shade Teddy. My Melt Cream Blush Lights. I have the shades Lynx and Sandy Cheeks. My Patrick Ta Blush Duo in the shade She's So LA. I love this one. And this one I picked up pretty recently. This is the Milani Liquid Highlighter in the shade 01 Lunar. So I'm gonna keep all of these. Again, I'm only getting rid of this Drunk Elephant Rosy Drops. I'm gonna quickly go through this container before jumping into powder highlighters. In here I have some liquid blushes, cream and liquid highlighters, and a couple of cream bronzers that I forgot about. So this one is from Flower Beauty. This is the Blush Bomb Color Drops for Cheeks in the shade Pinched. I remember really liking this, even though I haven't used it in a really long time, but I'm gonna keep this, try to get more use out of it. I'm definitely getting rid of this one. This is the Becca Champagne Pop Cream Highlighter. And this one, I don't even know how old it is. I almost hit pan on it, but it just looks kind of funky now. So I'm gonna toss this out. I'm also getting rid of these NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Sticks. I used to like these, but they are very much expired. I'm pretty sure this one is expired as well. This is the NARS The Multiple in Orgasm. And I think I used this twice <laughs> from what I remember. I just don't love this shade in particular. I just didn't find it flattering on me. I think I got this for free with a Sephora order, but I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep both of these Milani Cheek Kiss liquid blushes. I really like this formula and these shades both work for me. I have the shades Nude Flush and Rose Romance, so I'm gonna keep both. The ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade Cottage Life. I've never liked this formula and yeah, it just has never worked for me. Even though the shade is really pretty, but I'm gonna declutter this one because I don't use it. The Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter in the shade Nova. This one I got for free with an order from Sephora, I believe, and yeah, this one looks expired. But I remember not really liking this formula. I don't remember exactly why, but it just didn't become a favorite of mine. So I'm only gonna keep one of these. I'm definitely keeping the ABH one. This is their cream bronzer in the shade Amber. It's a really, really warm toned bronzer shade, which I normally don't love on me. It can lean a little bit orange, but I really like the formula. But I'm gonna declutter the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Light. This one is also very warm toned, slightly orange, but I think this one is expired. I have had it for a while and I've never been a fan of this scent. It has one of those like tropical scents that I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm gonna declutter this one. I'm also gonna declutter this Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in the shade Mocha. This is really old and it's always been really drying. It is a matte formula, so I've never been a huge fan of it. I feel like this one's a little tricky to blend out, so I'm gonna declutter this. I'm gonna keep these Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes though. This shade is really pretty for spring, but I think this one is my favorite. Rose Latte, especially for the fall. I don't reach for these enough, but I'm gonna try to use them more often. This Wet n Wild Putty Blush, I don't even know what shade this is in because it doesn't say on the tub, but I'm gonna keep it because surprisingly this one did work for me, even though the 
e.l.f. putty bronzer didn't work for me. I don't know what is different about the formula. I thought they would be the same, but I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna have to get rid of this Rare Beauty Melting Blush in the shade Nearly Neutral. This was a very disappointing product for me. I just don't like this formula and it looks like it got a little bit fuzzy, so I think it expired already. It's such a pretty shade, but I didn't like this formula because it's really like sheer and hard to apply. It always lifted up my foundation, so I'm gonna have to declutter this one. And then finally, this Milani Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. This has a really cool toned contour shade. I did use quite a bit of it, but I think this is expired now, as is the case with a lot of these cream and liquid products that I'm showing you. And same thing with the liquid highlighter side. Um, it's a really pretty highlighter, but yeah, this has gotta go. All right, moving on to powder highlighters. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into the drawer now, now that I have some space. Right away, I'm seeing one that I'm definitely decluttering. So this is the Feather River Body Pumpkin Latte Loose Highlighter. I don't even know how many years ago I purchased this from Etsy. I think it was Graveyard Girl that made it really popular. And I only used it a couple of times, to be honest, and didn't really care for it. This is more of like a blush topper for me, not really a highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one I am keeping, however, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Reezy Highlighter. But this is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. And I am never getting rid of this one. It's so pretty on the skin. I'm also keeping this KVD Alchemist Holographic Palette. These are really fun highlighter shades. And I do like to reach for these every once in a while, especially when I'm doing really colorful looks. These are just fun to play with. I love that you get a few different shades in here, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm also keeping both of these Becca highlighters. This one is in the shade Opal, and of course I also have Champagne Pop. I still really like it, so I'm gonna keep both. The Milani Power Up Highlighter Duo. I'm gonna declutter this because I've never loved this formula. One of them is supposed to be a cream highlighter, but honestly, I don't think it is. It feels just like a powder to me. These shades just don't really work for me so i'm gonna declutter this and look at how one of the shades came off of the pan right now just from like moving it around so yeah i'm definitely getting rid of this one the maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten rose gold this is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters i've used it countless times especially with like pinky looks but i'm definitely keeping this the house labs bio radiant gel highlighter this one, I'm gonna declutter because I really didn't like this formula. The packaging is absolutely stunning. I really wish I would have liked this, but I don't like this shade on me and it's really, really like glittery. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And this is in the shade Sunstone, by the way. This one I am keeping, however, this is the REM Beauty Highlighter Topper in the shade Miss Mercury. I really like this shade in particular and the formula actually surprised me. I didn't think I was gonna love it, but I actually do enjoy this highlighter formula. And I know the packaging is a bit controversial, but I actually like REM Beauty's packaging overall. Some of them are better than others, but this one in particular I think is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep this. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm never getting rid of this. I've used it so many times and I actually still reach for it. You get pretty much every highlighter shade that you could possibly need. And I do like to mix and match these, so I'm gonna keep it. Okay, another highlighter palette. This is from Fenty Beauty. Just look at this packaging. Like, I haven't seen anything like this when it comes to highlighter palettes. It is absolutely stunning, so I really don't wanna get rid of this, but I don't use these highlighters at all. I've used them a couple of times at most. I've used them more like toppers actually, like for eyeshadow looks, but as actual highlighters, I've rarely ever used. I'm gonna declutter this. The Lorac Highlighter in the shade Daylight. I love this highlighter, but I don't even think they make this anymore. It's super blinding and really pretty on the skin, so I'm definitely keeping it. I'm also keeping this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is in the shade Be My Highlight. To this day, this is still, in my opinion, one of the best drugstore highlighters. I'm definitely keeping this. The Essence Glow To Go Highlighter Palette. 
I used to use this all the time. This was like one of the only highlighter palettes that I was using at one point. It's such a good formula. So I'm gonna keep this. And this is in the shade Sunkissed Glow. I love mixing all of these shades together, especially because these two are too dark for me. I do like to mix them with the lighter shades and they tend to work fine for me. Another highlighter palette from the drugstore. This is from Flower Beauty, the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I like this, but I've never loved it. So I think I'm gonna pass it along. These are very intense highlighters, but they're almost like too intense for me. So I'm gonna pass it along. The Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam. This is just way too light for me. So even though I did like the formula, I think I tried it once. Um, I just haven't been able to use it because it's so icy on me. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm also getting rid of this Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Diamond Dust Highlighter. And this is just way too glittery for me. It doesn't really have much of a base. It's really just like glitter. I love the pinky shift that it has, but yeah, this is just not flattering on me. So I'm gonna declutter this. I'm gonna keep both of these Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. I love this shade in particular, Botanic Dream. This is a really pretty purple pinky shade. I love using this whenever I'm doing like purple eyeshadow looks, which is super rare, but I like having it on hand for looks like that. And Precious Petals, this one is really pretty as well. So I'm gonna keep both of them. The Physicians Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Brick. I think that's what it's called, but this is like a highlighter palette. I used to use this all the time and I feel like I don't use it enough. So I'm gonna keep it and try to get more use out of it. This is another one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. I feel like the drugstore just has so many good powder highlighters that you really don't need to spend much money on them. But this is from Revlon. This is the Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. This is so, so good. Um, very comparable to the ABH Amrezy Highlighter. If you couldn't get your hands on that one, I would highly recommend this one. I'm not saying it's a dupe, but it's definitely a great alternative. So highly recommend this one. The Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Lilac Geode. I'm gonna declutter this one. That's mainly because this shade just isn't flattering on me anymore, or at least I feel like it isn't. I used to like it, but it has a really strong gold shift to it. It's supposed to be more lilac, but I really don't see that. I feel like this is a mainly gold pinky highlighter, so not my favorite anymore, so I'm gonna declutter it. This one I'm also decluttering because it is very, very old. This is a highlighter palette from Pure. Um, I think it's called the Elevation Highlighter Palette. It's a really good formula, but I just have so many other highlighters that I prefer over this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. The Jaclyn Cosmetics Mini Highlighter in the shade Iced. This one I mainly use as an inner corner highlight because it's a little bit icy on me, but I can still make it work. It's just a really intense blinding highlighter, so I do have to be careful with it but I'm gonna keep this. I'm keeping both of these ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. And this one in particular, I really, really like. This is from the Avatar The Last Airbender collection, which was limited edition. This is in the shade Moon Peach. There's something really unique about this shade. So I'm gonna keep this one. And then Wisp, this one is a gold champagne highlighter. And I love this one as well. So I'm definitely keeping those. The Odin's Eye Norns Mesmerizer Highlighter. This one, as pretty as it is, I just didn't like the way that it looked on me. It's really hard to pick up on a brush and it did develop hard pan pretty quickly. Very glittery as well. So I'm gonna declutter this one. And then finally, the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. I don't think they make this anymore and I don't know why. Like I really don't understand. Um, at least I haven't seen it anymore, but this highlighter formula is so good. Super smooth and buttery and just like intense, but I'm gonna keep this. Again, I think they discontinued this, which is very unfortunate, but I'm glad that I picked it up when I did. I am so happy with the amount of items that I was able to declutter. Because of decluttering so many items, I have an empty drawer now, and I'm thinking of putting highlighters in here. I feel like it's just easier for me to find them that way instead of just like putting them together with blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in all of my highlighters in here.
This looks so much better to me. I love that I can see all of my highlighters in one drawer. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me to reach for these now and not forget about them. So highlighters are done. And then this drawer is gonna be strictly for blushes. I might keep a few cream and liquid blushes in here, but the majority of them are gonna be in my everyday makeup drawer. I didn't end up putting any cream or liquid products in here. I'm just gonna keep it to powder blushes. So here is everything that I'm putting in my filming desk. I also put a couple of powder blushes in here that I use often. So this is pretty much it. I am so happy with this declutter. And really quickly, I wanted to show you how much makeup I ended up decluttering. This Ulta box is filled. I still have to sort through what I'm giving away, what I'm throwing out. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking through this video, but I will see you in my next one. Bye!